HLN and Parenting Magazine are teaming up to find out the top confessions of American moms. And we want you to go online and fill out our survey. The questions are on everything from work to family to relationships and sex. Today, our tiara is to Teething Rings blogger, Vina Crownholm, was brave enough to answer the question, how often do you really want to have sex? I think all of us would like to have it as much as we did pre-baby. And then we think about the fact that there's like drool coming down us. There's like a kid pulling on our leg and we are just absolutely like sleep deprived and depleted. And sometimes by the end of the night, all we want to do is have some personal space. Amen. But you actually find that sexy, right, Bert? What's that? Little, Which part? A little breast smell, a little bark. Oh, on the yeah, shoulder. that's so hot. That's so hot. <laughs> I may be one of the few guys in the country, and you're going to take my guy card away from me, that will admit that I don't want to have sex every night. No, every man really? wants to have sex every night. No. The thing is, Why? men have to understand women are exhausted, mm -hmm. and you don't just at 10 o'clock at night after a full day of work, raising the kids, making I get it. dinner, do everything like, okay, let's go. My oh, wife wait. has a very subtle way of telling me if it's on or not. She has what I call green light clothes, yellow yellow light clothes and red light clothes. <laughs> All right, so red light clothes are like the sweats from college. They got yeah. holes in them, some yeah. big t-shirt. Yellow light is like eh, the t-shirt with a little skin, like if you proceed with caution, perhaps. <laughs> and then there's green light, which is like Victoria's Secret. It's okay, like, but wait, you had a confession. It's not sexual, though. Oh, this one's not right, sexual. I guess. Go ahead. And she's going to kill me for saying this. And I haven't seen it, <laughs> but my nanny told me this week that my wife put concealer underneath our 10 year old's eyes for his school pictures oh, oh no really oh, no. i hope it didn't really show i don't know if it's true or not You're but she's gonna, gonna kill me image issues right there <laughs> right. for the poor little thing <laughs> Good Lord. Speaking, of, House of dysfunction, speaking of image oh. issues i want to share another sample question with you from this do you often fake enjoyment during <laughs> sex because it's just easier to give in a is yep b is occasionally c is never don't Bert? look at me. I, I, feel very strong, I feel very strongly about this. I, feel I got a platform here, all right? You ready? Go. I think if your man is bad in bed and you're complaining about it and you've been faking it, then you've it's got nobody to blame but yourself. That's I think true. women are making, bad, uh, making men bad in bed because you're faking it and we're just going to keep doing we're just what thinking, we They're just thinking it's good. Well, you're awfully tight. They're thinking now, they're doing oh, it right. No, apparently all the men, I'm listening in the control room, apparently all the men are going, woohoo, go Bert. You got our back. I'm sticking up for the dudes on this so one. So you're ready to confess? Just head to hlntv.com slash Raising America. Click on the confessions link, and then you can make sure uh, to watch the week of May 6th. Each day we're going to reveal the top confessions of American moms. I think it's great how you bury me, but you guys don't share. <laughs>